out of that strange hole in the sky. Clever girl. Mother says I meddle. Perhaps. I know everything. Ask me. What is this place? This is the shore. Beyond lies murky waters and beyond that fields. By boat, you can get to the island. You do know a lot. I know everything. Ask me. What's happened here recently? Alina, the village chief's daughter, will soon marry. For gold, Mother says. Right. Mother also says Alina's sister, Selina, yearns for Julian. He's Alina's fiancé who lives at the inn. What does yearn mean? She really likes Julian. Oh, then Julian yearns for Alina, Selina yearns for Julian, and Alina likes Julian's gold but yearns for Adam. Adults are stupid. Undeniably. I know everything. Ask me. I saw a city. The submerged city of an ancient race full of treasure and monsters. Now fish people live there. I fear them, but the one sitting by the statue of the lady seems jolly. I'm losing track. And I sometimes take fish to the sick and poor elves when the fisher king catches them. And on the island you can meet the lady. More beautiful than Alina. She yearns too. I'm completely lost. Stupid adults. How can you take care of us when you don't understand and you're always yearning? Take care. Geralt. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh... Hmm... Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there are the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? Dandelion, I'm sure, described my profession realistically. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm-hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selina can be found anywhere. Your fiancé's spending time at the inn? We're not speaking. He's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we going to kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. 
He busies himself performing a diversionary manoeuvre. A manoeuvre? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes? You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. Nonsense. Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not, woe I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. I have the ring. Show me. It must be more beautiful than Alina's engagement ring. That's the ring. So be it. I'll show Alina I can have any man. But... Kiss me. All right. Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Ah, oh, yeah. I have a dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over. Why do you seek me? I'm looking for Alvin. If he's not in the village, check the fairy tale ruins nearby. Thanks. I don't want to. Geralt of Rivia himself. You're renowned in the ghost world. Alvin, step away. Summoned ghosts can be very dangerous. I just wanted to use the power like Triss. Normally I'm kind. Just lonely of late. I'd like Alvin to keep me company playing dice. He's a clever boy. Leave him alone. A classic solution, then. Let's play for him. The loser leaves the boy to the other. You don't stand a chance. Confident. Splendid. You saved me. I was scared. Everything's all right. I know. What drew you to these ruins? The hermit told me they were magic. Triss said I'd learn to cast spells someday. I like magic. Happiness never lasts. I had no right to expose Alvin that way. The salamanders don't know the concept of mercy. They'd stop at nothing. I wasn't made to be a father. I'm a witcher. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. Her. I have a gift for you. You like this dimeridium necklace? Well, necklaces are for girls. This'll keep your nightmares at bay. I wear one too. An amulet like yours! Do you want to live with Alina and Julian? I dream about Alina. 
I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Would you want to live with ordinary people? But just protect people like these. Simple, defenseless, normal. Put on the necklace. Duan! Look into my eyes. See your death. I don't need to hear this. You're not even human. Alvin. Now do you see the necessity of this action no matter the price? Garrett, open your mind. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Any work for a witcher? That's right. We extract antique items from the underwater city. You'd be amazed how much people are willing to pay for them. The fish people don't like it. Unfortunately, we've already hired a different witcher. Another witcher? Who? Where is he? His name is Berengar. You'll find him in the crypt. I think he's finally gotten to work. Thanks. We'll talk again about the Vodianoi. I need to speak with Berengar first. Farewell. Berengar. Mysterious witcher and outcast. I finally found him. What do you want, Witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait, because a wraith and some brookside will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Think I can't? <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen saw to that. Nice style, but not perfect. During a half pirouette, you leave your groin unprotected. I don't think so. I'll demonstrate when we get out of here. I don't intend to discuss swordplay. What do you know about Salamandra? <laughs> Straight to the point. Know why I'm laughing, Geralt? No. I'm laughing at you. So... Witchily, fast, deadly, and sure of yourself, with your unwavering sense of what's right. Think you're better than me? I don't know, but I don't want to fight you. Oh, that's right. The code forbids it. Watch it. Here they come again. That was easy enough. Berengar, I'm not about to get killed by a few Bruxae, if that's what you were hoping for. Let's talk. Who said I wanted to talk? You gonna force me? I hadn't intended to. I was thinking. That since we're both witchers, somehow we'd come to an agreement? To me, you're no better than that scoundrel the professor. You're just a bigger hypocrite. So you worked with Salamandra after all? I never said that. Shit. Looks like we're done here. Can we talk? Fine, but not here. Let's go outside. Sit by my fire. Finally. All right, what's so urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The witchers made me a mutant. The professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. I have the distinct feeling you're not telling me everything. How perceptive. There is one more thing. Salamandra wants Alvin. I don't know why, but he's important to them. They sent me here to find him, but I have no intention to. I just want to earn some arms and leave, for good. So, you know nothing more about the attack on Kaer Morhen, about the stolen Witcher's formulae? Not a thing. Then I have just one request. 
Stay away from Alvin. Yeah. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sandy legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. Farewell. Geralt? I've taken Berenger's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. We have a serious problem. The underwater city is the source of the village's wealth. A while back, a group of our divers went missing. Later, we found their boat adrift. Inside, it was Slaughter Witcher. Someone cut them to bits. Then we learned the Vodyanoi worship a monster that thirsts for human blood. They make bloody sacrifices to it on the island. If you eliminated that monstrosity... Have you tried talking to the Vodyanoi? That makes no sense. They don't understand our language. Anyway, the underwater ruins are of a human city. We're fully entitled to what's there. Kill Dagon. That's the monster's name. The entire village will be grateful, and I'll give you one of my grandfather's diamonds. I'll do it. Dagon emerges from the water when blood runs down the altar. Fish people bleed too, you know. Farewell. Hmm? Greetings. You're the Fisher King, right? Mm hmm? Hmm. Well, I have a professional interest in the area. You see, I'm a witcher. Any monsters in the lake? Mm. Benas, Dragonflies? Water creepers? No. Mm. I see. The lake's safe. While we're talking. Mm -hmm. Could I use your boat? Mm -hmm. Take care. Geralt? I was supposed to slay Dagon. How is it going with the Vodjanoi? It's done. Splendid. The fish people shouldn't be a problem anymore. Now it's your turn to meet your obligations. Ah, uh, it's hard for me to part with it. But an agreement is sacred. The diamond is yours. Farewell. I'm glad to see you. What happened? Alina went for a walk in the fields and hasn't returned. I'm losing my mind. Get out, please help me. Fine. I'll go look for her. Thank you.
carried a shawl full of juicy sun-drenched raspberries for my beloved. Have you seen my shawl, Wanderer? I lost it. <coughs> I'm to marry soon, but I must see my lover one last time. How sad he'll be if I bring him no sweet raspberries. Love is suffering, a pain that pierces my soul like a spear. Where is my beloved? Come rest in the sun. Ah, my dear sister, I cried on your shoulder. Why? Why do I feel so cold? Because you're dead, Alina. You lie. I shall scratch your eyes out. You kill my beloved Alina! I didn't mean to! Lawyer, you were jealous of her! Die, murderer! Ah! Witcher, can you hear me? You who are neither man nor ghost. Mortal whom death follows. Who are you? A soul damned to wander the world forever. Who cursed you? I myself did, in killing my sister Alina. Out of jealousy. Selina? Love denied. The sun denied. It burns! At night I sing my plaintive song. Yes? Sheathe your dagger. She killed my Elena! I'll never see her again! Selina killed her sister? She confessed! They argued, and Selina pushed Elena. My beloved hit her head on a stone. It's too terrible. An accident. Selina told me, and I couldn't control myself! Selina envied Elena, was jealous of Julian and his wealth. She must be punished. Alina is not dead. She turned into a noon wraith. A oh, terrible! I must help her! Try not to do anything stupid. Geralt? I was supposed to find Alina. Have you? Yes. That's wonderful. Is she all right? Sit down and have a drink. Alina is dead. She has turned into a noon wraith, a demon. Dead? I know it's hard, but we can't leave this as it is. People will start dying in the fields if I don't do anything about this. I see. Do what you can. I'll pay you. It'll be more than a silver penny. Do what needs to be done, Witcher. And if you can, make it quick and painless. I'll try. You know, I believe in reason, not in gods. Yet I pray to Melitelli that Alina and I would meet again. I had a bad feeling. I repulsed it. I think I need time to accept the thought that my Alina is dead. Geralt, how did it happen? Selina killed her, probably by accident. She's dead too. How? Adam killed her. He was in love with Alina, lost control of himself and killed Selina. By all the gods, that's terrible. So much suffering. What did they do to deserve this fate? Geralt, please help them, and I'll make sure Adam is arrested. He must answer for his crime. Mm -hmm. I'll do what I can to help the sisters' souls pass on. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. I need your help on a matter of a spiritual nature. You can trust me. 
I don't know how to send Alina's spirit into the beyond. That conceited wench? She came to possess a rare and powerful Nehelenia's mirror, which once served oracles and prophets. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. With the question, who's the fairest of them all? I know Nehelenia's mirrors come in two varieties, polite and broken. Alina's mirror was clearly broken. If you reassemble it and show Alina, the curse may be lifted. Thanks, Abigail. Geralt! I asked you to hide if it turned dangerous. I hear voices from all those women who live here. They're dead, Alvin. So many fear me. When they think I can't hear, they call me the devil's child. Those people, they're just afraid of what they don't understand. I want them to like me. I don't want them to die. What should I do? Your visions are a gift, not a curse. It's up to you to use them for good. I'll remember that. Old age is no Greetings! Hello. How can I help the gentleman? Who might you be? Master Handyman, at your service. I handle repairs of all kinds, produce strange and non-standard objects, and I'm a capable creative blacksmith and carpenter. Can you reassemble a shattered mirror? For 100 orans. Deal. Take the pieces. I'll pay you when you're done. Yes? Is my mirror ready? Like new. Now, 100 orans? Here. Follow the noon wraith. Come with me. Alina, gaze in the mirror. Alina? Take a good look. It's... So romantic. I am Alina. I must hurry. I am to marry soon. Alina, you're dead. Why do you say so? I feel wonderful. If a trifle cold. Strange. It's hot as hell. I must gather raspberries for my beloved. Why did Alina's soul refuse to leave? I can sense her happiness now that she's thinking about her wedding. She doesn't know she's a ghost. Hmm. Maybe Nehalenia's mirror is not enough to break the curse. I heard a story of a noon wraith who wouldn't wed a nilf guardian, but I don't remember how it ended. A legend, you say? Maybe I should ask those who know folk wisdom. I promised Julian I'd free his beloved. Geralt, do you love someone? I do, but that's none of your business. I know. You love Triss. What do you want? The mirror delighted Alina, yet she believes herself alive and is preparing to marry. Lost souls of the dead show a far greater sensitivity than those of the living. Poetic arguments should convince her long enough to see her damned sister. Dandelion will be perfect for that. Good luck, Witcher. Gerald? I need your help. Right. Shoot. I need a poem. A ballad. No problem. But to do it right, I need to know who it's for. Alina. Uh, isn't her wedding the day after tomorrow? Not anymore. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. Alina is dead, and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her, and no jokes. She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk. Gerald? How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion, you're to play at my wedding. Milady, Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? Proceed. His lips sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true, his soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? A ghost. Stop! 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 Selena killed me. 
My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Alina, it's me. Selina. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selina, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help, Witcher? I'll try. Why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a Witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems. Not always using a sword. Can I help you? Geralt? I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. Selina... Well, there was no way I could help her. Thank you, Geralt. I'm devastated. I was a happy man just a few days ago. Now... I don't know. I may go back to Kovia. Anyone ask about me? No. Yes, I almost forgot. The Fisher King. I think he wants to see you. Thank you. I'll go see him. Farewell. Farewell. Hmm. You look like you want to say something. Mm hmm. I have no idea what you want. Oh. All right, I'll try to guess. The Lady of the Lake wants to see me. Mm hmm. I shouldn't keep a goddess waiting. Farewell. Welcome, Geralt. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. For you do not know it, but I know you. By reputation. I should warn you Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Sheenaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Sheenaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Aglival and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vodianoi of Is tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Shinaz mentioned your intelligence. I invite you to use it. Speak with the Vodianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. Hosts of knights once defended my honor. But that was long ago. My poor sickly fisher king alone remains. A lady, you look pensive. Sometimes I see the future, Witcher. Destiny has entangled its threads round a Witcher. His path leads into a dark future, into sadness and pain. I wish to help him survive. Who is it, milady? You, or Berengar. Speak with him, and may one of you take up Destiny's threat. I'll speak to Berengar. I don't like this. Berengar? I betrayed Kier Morin's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours? Enough, traitor. I don't hear remorse. All I hear is self-pity. You hate what the Witchers did to you, all right. But you joined a group that subjects children to experiments with mutagens. Get out of my sight! Draw your sword. I don't advise this. You can't win.
Geralt of Rivia. I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvia Lepsha heal commands, and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyotel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. What's this? As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non-humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoyotel are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries, yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Rayla, Witcher, with the Order, against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No, to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts. Geralt? Dandelion. Teruviel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you. When will this end? Yes? You all right? No. I feel strange. I can hear what they're thinking. It's terrible, Geralt. Do you have the necklace? Yes. I wear it all the time. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? They're fighting for their freedom, for an ideal. Humans have them up against the wall and they see no other way. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Teruviel. Stay here. Geralt, why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from the Zima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need 
need to wait long to see the results. Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? Exactly. What should I do? Find the Fisher King and tell him to be ready. We're going back to Vizima. All right. See you at the lakeside. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. It's a trap! They're attacking! Alvin! No! Geralt? This is bad. Really bad. What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is, then. After you. We arrive in Vizima soon. Hmm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling. Like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt! Look! God damn it, Geralt. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You should be used to the sight of fighting by now, Dandelion. We should never grow accustomed to violence and horror, especially the sensitive among us. Luckily, we mutants have no feelings, is that what you mean? Shut up and tell me what you're doing. Berengar's letter contained some clues. To start with, we need to get into the city. That will be neither easy nor safe. I agree. But I won't give up now that I'm so close. Nose to the ground, forging on. You're like a bloodhound on a fresh trail. Old Vizima awaits. Probably the site of the heaviest fighting, then there's the plague. We need to get inside. Finally, I'll find out who's behind Salamandra. Geralt? You sure you want to come? I'd never desert you. I want to help. But matters may get intense. I hope you don't think I'm scared. Not at all. Ah, you're in time for quite a scrap. Looks quiet. All oh, quiet at the front. Here they clash, there they grunt and again. All oh, quiet at the front. Yavin won. Almost all Vesima's non-humans took up arms. How'd that happen? When the Order started killing women and children, even the most assimilated elves rebelled. Dumbest move since the age of King Desmod. Maybe the Grand Master wanted to provoke non-humans. As if that wasn't enough. Rumors surfaced about non-humans being resettled in Olvisima because we're more susceptible to plague. 
fucking fairy tale, of course. What are you doing here? We need to repel the attacking knights. Then I want to lead the civilians and Shani's patients out of old Vizima. Shani's in old Vizima? She's organized a kind of field hospital. She mentioned you. I'll try breaking through to her.